morning to thank you about him. Hallelujah. How precious he is. You can be seated. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And you just think about him going into Jerusalem, knowing what he was facing, and knowing why he was facing it. You know, I've, I've been thinking this week about why did you really do it, Jesus? Why, why did you really go through that pain, that suffering, that humiliation? Be despised and rejected of man? Why, why did he? Have you ever really thought about why he did it? For what reason would he have to go and shed all of his blood, be beaten beyond recognition? Pain beyond compare. And then turn and say, Father, forgive them. Well, they know not what they do. Do we appreciate, really? The suffering, the pain, the agony. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. He said, I could have called 10,000 angels. And we complain. Yes. When he did it for us. Thank you, Jesus. When trouble comes our way and strife and trials and tests and trials. And we want to complain. When he said, you're not taking my life, I'm willing to give it. Because this is the only way that people can be reconciled to a holy God. Are we so thankful? Are we grateful? Jesus. It just makes me want to repent that I ever complained. That I ever got offended. That I've ever been persecuted, humiliated, stumbled and fell. That you went most of way say, God, I just want to bow down and say, God, I am so sorry. And to think you love me that much that if I'd been the only person to be redeemed, you would have redeemed me. God is so good. God is so good. I'm thankful that we have a day to reflect and to think about and appreciate what he's done for us. But I'm up here to make some announcements. And um, if you're a visitor here for your first time, we want to say we welcome you and we're thankful. And let's just continue to remember um, different ones that are out today. Um, let's remember Brother uh, Ed and Sister Linda. They, they have really been going through a trial of their health, <coughs> and, and different ones that um, we've been challenged a little bit, but thank God he's bringing us forth to victory. Amen. Praise God for that. And, um, um, ladies, if you can, we're having our prayer meeting in the morning um, at 10 o'clock from 10 to 11, if you can be here. Uh, everybody's welcome. If you're a lady, Okay. All right, and then Friday, um, just remember there's time for men to pray. 
and women can come too. It's not restricted, but we we gather here and circle and and really pray as women. And then on Mondays and then on Fridays, it's mostly the men that come. Uh, in our Wednesday Bible study, we're having to make a, a change. Um, I thought Sister Marcia would be physically able to teach, but she's going through a little struggle right now, and so we're going to have to change that, and we'll just come Wednesday expecting to receive. That's right. All I can say, amen, we, we'll figure out who, who can be able to do it. Um, and then um, I gave a list of people who would be ministering this week, it's subject to change because um, in this month um, it's subject to change. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> uh, life, life is subject to change, but if if we can stick with the plan, we will. If we can't, we'll um, we'll do something else. Um, uh, the 23rd, uh, evangelist Ken Cowan. Some of y'all know him. He's been here before. He'll be here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> on the 23rd and we'll we'll go from there praise God so just keep it in mind just keep praying for each other Amen. Uh, as we get through this season uh, that, that seems to be challenging but um, God is faithful God is faithful Amen. and we, we can walk through it with victory amen, amen. praise God
Thank you. 